Chapter 8 The Green Brigade I reached out to shut off the Mickey Mouse alarm clock. With one open eye, I looked at the clock. It was past 5.30, which on a normal day would mean snuggle in bed for another hour. But today was special. My friends and I had a plan up our sleeves. We are going to sweep the streets of the colony before the city came to life. I heard a familiar whistle and with my outstretched arm drew aside the curtains. Rajiv, Shyama, Fauzan and Vasudevan were all there, frantically waving, waiting for me. Jumping out of bed, I hurriedly got into what I chose to call work clothes, a torn pair of jeans and a faded t-shirt. My hands grubbed under the bed and found what they were looking for, a large bag with a pair of silicone gloves. I had ordered them from the internet. They were waterproof, easily washable and long-lasting. I pinned on the green brigade badge I had so proudly designed for the team, crept down the stairs, gently unlocked the well-oiled door and stepped out, shutting the door behind me. Ow! Ow! Oops! I had forgotten Ruffy, my beagle whose paw had got stuck in the door. My friends were getting impatient and I was left with no option but to carry along the bruised ruffy. Armed with long brooms, sponsored by Vasudevan's father, we proudly marched down the colony street. Our destination was Cree Avenue, an oasis in the desert. But this was far from a real oasis. It was an eyesore. Every evening, hawkers would line up on the pavement and sell their goods, ranging from cheap household items, designer imitations and the ever-favorite street food chart and samosas. The street which every evening was full of people jostling to buy whatever they fancied was now empty. But it was littered with used plates, plastic bags and scraps of food. The plan was to sweep the street clean pick up all the litter and deposit it in the colony garbage dump. Excitedly, we got down to business. We identified our areas and started work. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Ruffy too did his bit by picking up empty plastic bags and carrying them to the garbage dump. An hour later, we noticed some morning walkers stop. Soon the numbers grew and we heard a loud cheer. Many stepped forward to help, but it was a commitment of the Green Brigade we were going to keep our city clean. I had read how Mahatma Gandhi would undertake the cleaning of his ashram himself and encourage others to do the same. So here we are, young Gandhians, determined to lead a new Clean India campaign. This was just the beginning of a movement. Some of the residents took on the responsibility of placing large dustbins at street corners, while others promised to maintain the cleanliness of their streets. A garbage collection system was planned, and even the hawkers on Tree Avenue promised to join the cleanliness drive. After all, the best way to teach others is to lead by example, and that was our purpose. From throwing that piece of crumpled paper on the classroom floor to dropping the empty chips packet out of the speeding car or bus window on the road, we need to understand that every small irresponsible act of ours is to blame for the state of our environment. The Green Brigade soon grew in number. Every Sunday morning, both the young and the old took to the streets to sweep away the litter. More efforts were made to spread awareness through the weekly colony newsletter. Once a month, on the spot painting, poster making and poetry writing contests were organized. Prizes were given by the president of the Resident Welfare Association. This Sunday, I was the proud winner of the poetry writing competition. Frantically, anxiously, grubbed, fumbled around, Looking for something, bruised, injured, eyesore, ugly sight, hawkers, sellers of goods in public places, often without official permit, imitations, copies, undertake, commit oneself to do something, 
campaign, a planned group of activities intended to achieve a specific aim. Maintain, continue to keep in similar state of existence.